Hey what's up guys, this is Ton Ton here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another figure to show you and here we have the Transformer Wolf for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Deluxe Class Warp Spinator. And this is the modern take on from the classic Warp Spinator characters from the Beast Wars series. So let's begin. So here we have Warp Spinator in his robot mode. And I must say that upon first hearing about this figure, I immediately have the thought that will he be better than the Generations version of Warp Spinator. And after handling this guy for quite a few times, I must say that yeah, I'm happy with the figures. And I guess that most of you would have the same question, is that will this guy be better than the Generations one? Because there was a, a, that example of Rhinox that the Kingdom version is worse than the old generation. So in this video first, I'm gonna compare this guy next to his Generation counterparts and we will see Ourselves. So here are the two figures standing side by side and I must say that they are both deluxe class but the generation is slightly bigger than the kingdom. And upon that, the first thing that you can notice is that the difference in the colors with the generation versions. We got that uh, darker and more metallic paint green and also the yellow and the gold but for the kingdom version. It is more like a cartoonish and that can be explained because first my generation here is what I, I remember as a uh, exclusive or deluxe version or something but this kingdom here is a normal one. So it's about the scaling of these two figures. I must say that with the kingdom they did a better job on the chest because it just looked more in scale with the whole body proportion rather than the generation's versions. The chest section here is kind of big. Other than that, I would prefer the limbs of the generations better. They look like they look a lot more stronger than the kingdom versions. So for the insects leg proportion, if you look closely here, the generations versions has two on the arms and one on the legs, but the kingdom version has it got it reversed. So we have one on the arm and two on the legs, and also the four of the legs is also different over here. As you can see here, the, in my opinion. The Generations version did a better job for the legs, they are more sleek and you can see the, dog, the parts of the leg while the Kingdom version is kind of like skip that away. So in this point, I think that the Generations version got it better. So for the B horns section here, the Generation version has it made from rubbers and just stick on one direction but the Kingdom have a little twist. So this is actually like plastic and it can rotate. But one thing happens with the Kingdom versions would be that if they rotate in this angle and you display him in the robot mode, it would be really easy to break if you don't pay enough attention. I wish that this was, this was made from rubbers and I don't know, like use a ball joint or something. That would be better for posing and to maintaining the figure's quality. And for the wings of this guy, the Kingdom versions has it on the ball joint so you can move it around all you want. But the Generations version has this gimmick, so that you're actually gonna press this and it's gonna flap. So for the playing aspect, the Generation does it better. But the fact is that you cannot move the screen and like hold them in the robot mode if you don't press the gimmick. So it's kind of difficult to pose. So yeah, this is a really neck and neck and 50-50 to me. And also if you look at the legs, the back of the leg, the generation version got it all filled out, but the kingdom version's got some hollow spot over here. That is quite disappointing, in my opinion. So as you can see here, the kingdom version's head is made a, a really, I would say, a glossy black paint. This is the same paint as the deluxe class wing figures, and you got a lot of bee-like texture, organic texture. While on the generation version, it is all like clean and sleek. So up on this point, I think that I would prefer the kingdom one, which makes me feel a lot more realistic. And the final comparison I'm gonna make between these two guys would be the clear section. So for the generations, you got a, a what a, a yellow splash, white splash, yellow clear plastic. But for the kingdom, you got its clear purples, and they both got light piping. And in my opinion, I would say that this is quite 50-50 to me, because like while the white slash yellow clear plastic looks really nice on the generation, I also enjoyed the clear purples on the kingdom version so i think that yeah they can have it they can have both the points for this round so final thoughts of comparing these two guys would be neck and neck and in the end it depends on which one do you prefer you prefer the 
aesthetic of the generations and the gimmick of the wings or would you prefer the, the latest incarnation of the sky as a toy it's up to you now let's focus back on what's me later mm. for the face sculpt of the sky i must say that i really enjoy this this is full of characteristic and overall looks really nice you have this really nice clear purple pipe light piping and in my opinion they shine really well you got this two bee sting like details onto the head and you got some gold paint and brown paint on the face plate and overall it is full of characteristic and i must say comparing to all the other beast world figures head by far this could be my favorite i just enjoy the light piping and i'm gonna show you the light piping right away so just see the light piping and just look at that beautiful purple that is so beautiful and i enjoy this so much now up on the chest, the chest is really nice. You've got that two layers of green here. So one is beneath and this is the same color as the limbs and one is above, slightly more glossy green. And you got this whole beautiful eye section which is made with some texture. Mimics the eyes of a insects and that is really nice. And I must say that add on the bee horns that gives the chest so much more dimension and so much more longer than I would expect. Next one is the arms and that is basically the normal transformer arms. You got some mostly green and you got some yellow paint and you got a whole insect's leg sticking out onto the elbow and that would be it. And moving on to the leg and I must say that comparing with the generation, I'm not really prefer this leg. First up because it is hollow and second that I just kind of don't feel like this leg is really nice in my opinion. I mean it is still a nice leg though but I just don't feel like it would be my thing to play with. Other than that, it's mostly something with the same with the arms. I must say that like, I feel like they spend all their energy and efforts on the head, the chest, the wings and the the ass, I think. So for the legs and arm, they are slightly simple. And I said, I guess it's also to accommodate the artery mode because they're all wrapped in. So yeah, that is fine to me. So now without further ado, now let's get to some action and articulation. So the articulation begin with the head. He got a ball joint so he can turn around. And he can look up a little bit because it, the back section of the head blocks it onto the way and barely you can look down because of the chin. So yeah, that is minimum articulation. The arms can swing out like that, do a full rotation. And this, the insect legs sometimes does get into the way. You got a bicep swivel. You got a, the elbow band is here. And you got some wrist articulation. A wrist swivel. You got a waist swivel over here. And it's kind of limited because of the mouth of the outlet mode. And this is the thigh, uh, this is the hips. So you got a split, kick to the front, and kick to the back. It does get limited because of this section over here. You got a bicep swivel, like a belly, a belly bicep swivel. And yeah, this is the knee band. That is 90 degrees. And you got some toe band and a decent pivot. Articulation wise, I think this guy is decent enough. I, I mean, like he feels better to handle than the generations version. And I do say that I would prefer playing with this guy rather than a lot of more deluxe class from the Kingdom line. So I think that they did a good job with Waspinator. Now let's get to some size comparison. So here we have Waspinator next to deluxe class Mirage, Voyager class Optimus Primal, and Leader class Gavatron. I must say that I enjoy the scaling of the Beast World, is that all the Transformer is always smaller than the normal Transformer. Just look at Primo over there, he's a Voyager and he only is like slightly taller than Mirage and Waspinator also as a Deluxe but a lot more smaller than Mirage. So I think that this scaling system works really nice. So for these accessories, this Waspinator comes with a gun that moves out from his BS. So you just push this and there we go, this is the gun. I must say that I'm kind of disappointed compared to the gun from the Generation versions. Because like the Generation versions at least has a more gun-like looking and a gimmick. So yeah, this is a little bit of a stretch, but I guess it is okay though. So to attach it, you simply just plug it onto his arms and there we go. And now he's shooting from his ass, just like that. And yeah, that is it. So let's get to some, let's get to this transformation.
So finishing transformation, I must say that this is a really nice and overall enjoyable transformation sequence. I mean like this is like 90% exactly same from the generations 1 but it's still satisfied in its own way. I would love the fact that you can post the wings here so you can have a very nice base displays set and that could be it. And now let's get to its detail. So for the comparison shot next to the generation versions, I'm gonna bring this guy back in. So here's the two D mods, and the first noticeable thing would be their heads. The generation got a what should what should I say a more computer generated and cartoon like head, while the Kingdom version has a more realistic head design. And this is the same thing with the Kingdom line that they have their beast mode to be as real life like as possible. So as you can see here, the eyes their eyes are different. This is more an eye to be here, and got a better setup. Teeth, I guess this is for the teeth that they can move in and out. And with the generation, it's just move in. And one more really nice thing is that this head here can look up to give it a lot more articulation while the generation's head is fixed. And so, next one is the leg. Just look at the legs here. So, I mean, they're both nice here, but the legs of the Kingdom versions at this form makes the figures look what should I say? Stronger. Yeah, it just looks a lot more stronger than the generation's version. And also, if you look closely, you will see that the proportion of the arms in transformation is different. As for the generation's versions, the arm got stick out like this, but while the kingdom version had is perfectly hide away like that. I must say that I enjoy the kingdom engineering, just make the B form look slicker. And talking about the final aspect, which is the aesthetic, as you see here. The Kingdom versions look more like a real life B than the generations. I would prefer the Kingdom. Because let's look at the back part here. The back part of the Kingdom just like really hinge up. And you got that this gap in between. But for the generation, just look like a like a motorcycle design. And now for the final shot of comparison here, we have the boss beat the next of this Predacon Combrax that got released so far. So we got the Relax class, Scorponok, the leader class. Megatron and the Deluxe class like Arachnia over here and I must say that I enjoy this set next to one another they looks nice they are really really nice so that be it for my review of Deluxe class Rospinator what do you think of him? would you get him instead of to replace your generations? give your thoughts in the comment section and also give it this video a like and share it and if you are new subscribe to my channel and press that notification button so you get notif notified every time I upload a new video and follow me on Instagram. That is where I do most of my updates. So yeah, turn on out.